Oops. <laughs> Let's hit the right button this time. Okay. Let's hit all the right buttons. Eraser, if you're listening, try out your new emotes. You should have access to the uh, the side uh, glove emote now. Because you were gifted a subscription. By the benevolent Crom Smash. Is that his name? Yeah, Crom Smash. <laughs> Chapter 8. So this is either the last chapter or the second last chapter. Right, I got dang near all the tetrads, just missing the L. And Merlin is the guy who's been raising me from the dead, so here we are in Camelot. Odds Butkins, a stranger me thinks you should see the king, yeah. Probably should see the uh King's Wizard, too. <laughs> no doubt you have heard of my great and wondrous adventures. I would fight the dragon in the northern cave, but my schedule's quite full, so many quests a little time. That's right. Must be playing Skyrim. Or The Witcher. Oh, uh, okay. Not for long, I imagine. Yeah, that's okay. Where I'm going, that's where I'm headed. Oh. Get out of here, kid, we're training. <laughs> Instead of brawling, they're training. <laughs> I was gonna say, they look just like the guys in the, the, the saloon. Hail, hail, young man, I am Sir Spineless the Cowardly. I'm glad that you showed, I certainly wasn't gonna battle the dragon. Well, yeah, you're with a name like Spineless the Cowardly. Hey, Melissa, how you doing? What you reading, what you watching, what you playing, what you working on? Aside from doctor's visits or whatever. I serve the king. Can I bring you a nice bowl of gruel, swill, mutton? Can you drink a... Can you have a bowl of swill? Does swill come in bowls? <laughs> We've been standing still all day long and I could really go for a coffee break, a donut, a sandwich, anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got this itch on my nose. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, drive safely. Ooh, look. Here's King Arthur. Welcome to Camelot. I am Arthur, King of the Britons. Wise old Merlin the Magician told us to expect you. And you are just in time, too. There's this awful, mean, terrible dragon, you see, and he's making a mess of things. I'd call on my brave and powerful knights, but they all seem to be out on quests. Would you, brave Mike, smite down this terrible beast? Of course I will. You are indeed very brave. I hereby christen you Sir Mike. Nice. Whoa, that cutscene right there. Oh, my life level's increased. Sweet, being a knight is awesome so far. Now if you need me to go pick on, like, helpless poor peasants and squeeze taxes out of them, let me know. You are now a knight of the round table. Good luck on your journey. I guess the knights of the round table were generally nicer than that. Although they were constantly, like, falling victim to their vices. Getting themselves in trouble. Alright, well let me pass. You may pass, Sir Mike. Fight bravely for our freedom. Now that I'm a knight, I can go where I want. Even into this dragon cave. I thought for a second there that my screen was dark, but this cave is just dark. <laughs> ah, hippity hoppy slimes. What the... Did the floor become permeable when I killed the last enemy? Or was that... Did I fall in the floor before the door could open? Why are there skulls barfing bones here? That was a monster from the Dracula's castle. It's not a Camelot appropriate monster. 
Gosh, I feel like I'm going to fall through the floor constantly. Okay, yeah, so I did just inadvertently fall through the floor, I think. What? It happened again? Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I got to fall, but I got to fall in the right place. Got it. Well, that should be easy. Hey, what's going on, Robbie? Congrats. Ooh, what do we got now? We got a uh, a uh, Thunder Badge. Look at you. That reminds me. Congrats on the three months. That's fantastic. Uh, so we are currently at 12 sub points. I think if we get 15 sub points, then we'll unlock another uh, emote. How you doing tonight, Robbie? What are you reading? What are you watching? What are you playing? What are you working on? Okay, so I need that slime to come up here because I need to fall up here. Uh, I think... I uh, Gosh, you're better off Googling it, honestly, than asking me, but I think like one subscription at Tier 1 is worth one point and then the tier two is worth two points and a tier three is worth three points, I think. So uh, basically just like three more uh, concurrent subs. subs. Um, I don't know what's currently being counted and what um, would be counted if it were renewed. Actually, I'm gonna leave that one there because it's right in the spot where I want it. Come here, you. No, come, come here. Oh, come on, you were right here where Oh, gosh, this slime's got the dodges. Come on, you. I probably should do some better research on, uh, on what it takes. Oh, we have that. That's fine. Oh, phew. I was, like, looking at my phone, but I landed in the right spot. Yes, yes, Melissa is doing more than her part. Oh, gosh, I have a feeling that I'm going to have to jump up that oh this thing I hate this one yeah I did not care for this one Blah. let's see watching and rewatch Robocop last night totally holds up oh yeah I watched Robocop recently um, surprised me a little bit because in my like historical memory I thought like the ranking was Total Recall's the best then Robocop then Starship Troopers but I recently watched Starship Troopers and RoboCop, and I think I got to switch them. Total Recall is still number one. But uh, Starship Troopers was, like, better than I gave it credit for, I think. Uh, I think Sarah's with you. I think Sarah thinks Starship Troopers is the best. Um, and she's not a particularly big fan of RoboCop, but I still like RoboCop. I, I think it's still fun. There, there, and Darker Shade of Magic. Yeah, I heard you were writing. That's awesome. Ah, oh, gosh. I love writing. I wish I did it more a bit. I am reading. Um, these days I'm doing more to help write than I am doing writing myself. Wow, there's lots of potions here. I hope I don't need all these. Um, let's see if we can murder this thing pretty quick. Oh! Whoa! Oh no, I wasn't high enough! <laughs> hey, what's going on, Michelle? Oh yeah, Starship Troopers is so good. Um, so I'm reading um, an Anne McCaffrey book, one of her first, uh, Dragonflight. That's my book to fall asleep to because I finished her Crystal Line trilogy. And I am also reading Raising Cain, a book about how we ruin the emotional welfare of boys <laughs> and how we need to do better. Raising boys. And I'm currently playing Star Tropics 2, Mega Man 2, Super Mario Bros., and Pokemon Blue. And I'm watching She Ra with the girls, and we are liking it a lot. We're calling it uh, Half Avatar, Half uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, which is not an insult. That was a good show. 
I didn't like watch a lot of it. I wasn't like a brony or anything, but uh, that's the word for that, right? Brony. That sounds like that sounds wrong. Um, but you know, my kids watched a lot of it, so I caught a few episodes. And like I told you before, Applejack's my favorite. Dragonflight is in my nice stamp pile. Dragonflight's still good. Still holds up. Oh, this is fun. Whee! Okay. Uh-oh. What's happening over there? Oh, it's getting spiky. Hurry. It's getting too spiky. Whoa! <laughs> that was so... Oh, exciting. Ow, that hurt a lot. Wow. Okay, well, just whatever. We're gonna just... That's why he gave us all those potions. <laughs> I'm trying. There we go. Schmow. This room's exciting. Oh, no, not this alarm. I thought it might be that one. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Whew. That was intense. Oh, is this the boss? What is this boss? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this boss is interesting. Brony is the right word. Okay. <laughs> but I don't want to say anything is right about that. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's see if maybe this one works better. Am I hitting this thing at all? I don't seem to be. Oh, maybe I wasn't hitting it because I was jumping it. So I was on a different plane. Oh, yeah, that seemed to hit it. Ow! That's not where I want to be at all. Okay, this is a wacky boss. Lore. Oh, that's right. The story. All right. So if you'll remember from Star Tropics 1, Robbie, we went to save our uncle, Dr. J, who's on Sea Island. Well, we just went to visit him at first, but then he got he disappeared. Turned out he was kidnapped by aliens who made him reveal where the escape pod for the Argonians was and the three magic cubes, and he crumpled under torture or something like that. And uh, then uh, he uh, revealed where the cubes were, so we had to go take the cubes back, and it turned out that when you combine the cubes, they were like an escape pod for the Argonians, and we saved the last of their race. So this one opens up with Dr. Jay is still on Sea Island. He's hanging out with Micah, and he's like, hey, let's read this book together, Mike. And I read the book, and I fell into it, and then I woke up in the Ice Age, where I found a tetrad, and then Micah spoke to me telepathically and was like, hey, get all those tetrads. My dad totally knew what they were and hid them in time. And then I fell into the book again, and then I woke up in ancient Egypt, where I met Cleopatra. Then I fell in the book again. Oh, and I brought her a pizza from Rome, and she helped me get a tetrad. And then I, uh, fell into the book again and I woke up in Victorian England where Sherlock Holmes was real and he helped me sneak through the sewer to break into a museum to steal another tetrad and then Zodax appeared that's Zoda-X but we're pronouncing it Zodax and we killed him and so we were like yay but it turns out there's a Zoda and a Zodaz too so then we fell in the book again and then we went to where did we go after Sherlock Holmes then we went to Dang, I can't remember. Yeah, it was a really old pizza. I can't remember where we went after Sherlock Holmes. Let me try and recall. Oh, we went to uh, 1849, and we, uh, we took part in the California Gold Rush, and I ate an old chicken nugget that I found in a cave. And then we went to... Uh, like uh, Renaissance Italy and we met Leonardo da Vinci and he was stuck inside one of his own statues and we got a hammer and a chisel and we broke him out and we collected and then we went to Transylvania and we fought uh, Dracula but it wasn't really Dracula it was another Zoda and it turned into a giant owl monster um, and we fought that and now uh, we're in Camelot so yeah, it all makes sense. And when you die in this game, Merlin is the one who's like continuing. So I figured Camelot was coming eventually. I didn't. I 
didn't even think about it because I'm a dope. But as soon as we got to Camelot, I was like, oh, yeah, that makes sense because Merlin's been resing me. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty straightforward game. It looked more like the uh, the boss of the first Castlevania, that big blue thing. This boss was horribly designed. Not like that at all. No! <laughs> is this really? This, is this boss for real? Because this is obnoxious. It sure was a lot of almost hitting it. Now oh, there's one hit. I feel like maybe I'm starting to get the hang of this. That was a bit early. Ooh, that was nice. He ran into my shot for once. Ooh. Oh, come on. That one was that one should have hit. Jerks. I'm so glad that we have the the life alert going off this whole battle. That's really great feeling really happy about it. Oh, the uh, the low life alert in this game is the worst that's ever happened in any game. King Fury. I don't think I've seen King Fury. Am I all the way back at the beginning? How rude. It reminds me of the time I explained the movie Eagle Eye to Sarah, though. God, that movie. Come here, you. Okay. Oh, I missed it. Oh, Kung Fury. I never saw Kung Fury. Like, I had a friend who really loved it and was like, you should watch this. And I was like, okay. And then I fell asleep four seconds into it. Or no, not that wasn't Kung Fury. It was Kung Fu Hustle. I don't know what Kung Fury is. But it sounds like it's as good as Star Tropics 2. Ah, Phew. All right. And we are going to get the potion. Although I do feel like I was doing a better better job on that night there. Oh, you never saw Kung Fury. Oh, but somebody described it to you. And it sounded like that. I got gotcha. you. I know we got a lot of basketball fans in the chat. So it's pretty exciting that the Lakers are playing again last night. Took it to the Clippers pretty good. It was a good game. Come on, you. Kung to Kung Tu? Kung Tu? Oh, gosh. So you have to get these things in just the right spot. Because if, if you land on them, even when they're, like, down, they hurt you. Ow! This isn't going to be worth it. I'm going to net uh, less than I get from that thing. Well, let's see. What did I lose? Two hearts for the first hit there? So technically, I could net one heart if I take just one more hit on the way back. Oh, nice. Okay, that worked. From 1985. In 1985, Kung Fury, the toughest... Martial artist, cop in Miami. Wow. Goes back in time to kill the worst criminal of time, Kung Fuhrer. Okay. Sounds like that, um, what was that one where he got bit by a cobra and uh, hit by a lightning bolt at the same time? And he went back in time and rode a dinosaur to kill Hitler or something? And one of the quotes after time traveling was, where am I? Viking times. Oh, that explains the laser raptors. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. What? Why haven't I seen this movie? Try. Nice. First try. Is 
a very Star Tropics 1 kind of move. In Star Tropics 1, whenever you were about to like fight a boss, it often sent you a little uh, a little version of that boss first. Uh, so like I got those little knights there, and then the boss is going to be the uh, big knight. Okay. Now, let's see. Which one is it? Up. Okay. But I got to still get there reasonably fast. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> I don't think you can get closer than that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that one was so close. Woohoo. Okay. We're in better shape this time. All right, I'm going to try the swords, too. Okay. Yeah, the, the swords, I don't think that they... I don't know if they hurt more or whatever, but they're not health dependent. So I won't suddenly start doing less damage halfway through the battle, like I will with the mine bullets. Oh, that's one way to do it too, huh? Throw one, then jump, and then hope that he runs into it. Yeah, this is working much better this time. Yeah, I didn't. That worked out all right. Is it second form kind of thing, or is this door about to open? All right, well, so much for all those potions. We don't get to carry them with us, but we can use them, and our health will go with us. Ah. All right, Tetrad. Oh, is this that owl that messed me up in Transylvania? <laughs> Reported for exploiting. I was just playing well. Hoot, oh, exploiting with the uh, potions, I guess, technically. It's just good sense. Hoot hoot, hello, Mike. I am glad that you have come so far. Gosh, Zelda 64 totally ripping off Star Tropics 2 here. Actually, I guess Link's Awakening ripping off Star Tropics 2. Zelda 64 ripping off Link's Awakening. I am glad that you have come so far. I'm sure that you remember my other disguises. Oh, by the way, I am uh, using a different bitrate today, so I don't know. Oh, it's Merlin. If uh, my video quality is going to be a little lower today, um, but hopefully the the lag is a little better today. Like when you type something, hopefully it shows up a little faster and I respond a little sooner. We'll see. I went from 2,500 to 2,000. We'll see if it makes a big difference. I am the magician in King Arthur's Court. I mean, you could just test it by typing something and seeing how long it takes to appear there in the uh, the chat on the stream. Long ago, I had a good friend from a faraway planet. His name was Hyracon. Uh, he spread the tetrads across time and space so that only a hero could find them. He Hyracon is Micah's dad. That's the king of the Argonians or whatever. If there's a difference, it's too slight to notice, video quality-wise, I mean. Well, that's good. I think the ones that I'm recording, uh, like, on my locally are still high quality, though. I'm not sure. So if I ever decide to upload them like YouTube or whatever. Although, the chat will be missing. Well, no, I guess the chat's still on the thing there. When last we spoke, he asked me to watch over such a hero. Watch over such a hero in his journey someday. That hero was you, Sir Mike. And that day has come. Well, where were you when I was fighting that knight, owl? You must now collect the last tetrad and put them all together. The fate of Hyrakon's race rests on you. So now this is going to turn into Tetris here. I will now give you the last and most powerful magic. Ooh. The Ultra Psychic Shockwave. Sweet. I like that. Now continue your journey along this path and fight for the final Tetra. Come help me! I mean, I appreciate the... Uh, yeah, well, Elder Scrolls ripped off Star Tropics, obviously. Is this not common knowledge? See? I got the full health from eating those potions, so I don't even need your stinking four hearts. I will say that this one feels less mazy than Star Tropics 1. Oh, those look like monsters from Star Tropics 1. Star Tropics 1, it was like 
harder to find your way sometimes. You had to like, like I felt like it was easier to get lost in that one. In this one, the paths seem a little more straightforward. Yeah, whenever they need a, and it, well, no, even before they get writer's block, whenever they're just starting up a new game, they're like, all right, load up Star Tropics. Uh, how was that game awesome? What can we steal? It's just, it's just good business sense. Like, I don't know if you ever took any video game development classes, but day one is Star Tropics. Like, oh my gosh, I'm the baby. Whoa! What? What? A, what kind of? Ah! Somebody taught this Squirtle Bubble Beam or something. Yikes! That was harsh. Whoa! All right, so apparently in that very first room where I went up, I could have gone right for something different. It might have just been a dead end, but it might have also been like a potion or sub-weapon or something. Ah, come on, Mike, what are you shooting at? Oh, okay, so not only does this alarm beep way too often when you have low life, it beeps every time you throw a sub-weapon, too, or every time you throw a weapon. So I'm making it beep faster when I hit the button. The Will Wright Masterclass, it's first <laughs> video five seconds long, and he says, play Star Traffic. <laughs> Is that a uh, master class for video game design? I tell you what, Star Tropics, honestly, you could do way worse than studying Star Tropics for uh, just like, you're not gonna find many people who think that game's terrible. That game is is a well-made, really fun game. Even now, like people are speed running that game. Like the speed run is hot. And uh, that game is still like basically bug free. <laughs> They have not. If if someone was gonna find a way to skip stuff in that game, they'd have found it by now. Gosh. Oh, double slime, and this one's it in a lot of ways even more impressive. This one was less popular because it came out later. Uh, this is actually the second to last game ever to come out on the NES, and it was the last game that ever came out exclusively on the NES. So Wario's Woods came out after this one, but Wario's Woods also came out on Super Nintendo. So this game was released really late. It was only released in the U.S. They didn't even get it in Japan, and uh, even though it was developed in Japan. And uh, nobody bought it, and nobody played it. But it's a great game. I'm a little, I think it's like, I was talking actually with Bug Doctor, who's the world record holder for the first one. Like, why don't more speedrunners play this game? Because I see speedrunners playing Star Tropics 1 all the time. Because um, this game's great. And I, I I might even like this one just better, like, just objectively. Like, it's a more impressive game. Um, but he's his, he posited the theory that uh, more people played the first one. So it's just more fun for them because of the nostalgia. I am sad that this game didn't do well because then we never got Super Star Tropics and we never got Star Tropics 64. Oh, yeah, that's right. These things explode on death. Ooh. It's all right, though. At least, ah, gosh. I'm at four and a half hearts. You don't need to beep at me. It's not that dire. What's the deal with this? Okay, so that was all just for nothing, huh? Oh, gosh. Am I going to make these jumps? These jumps look tough. Where am I? Oh, I'm supposed to jump up there. And then, oh, pfft. I, I wasn't even paying attention to the architecture of the, uh, the room there. Oh, gosh. We were watching that Futurama episode today where uh, Fry buys the an anchovies, you know? That... That episode has this bait and switch in it that just I love gets me every time. Where uh, he's trying to buy the uh, the underwear, and uh, he's like, "But I don't have any cash." And yeah, I, I don't know. I've had cow. Uh, he's he's like, "I don't have cash. Do you take Visa?" And the cashier goes, "Oh, Visa hasn't existed for 500 years." And he goes, uh, "Mastercard, 600 years. Discover, oh, I'm sorry, we don't take Discover." <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I'm 
sorry we don't take this cover. Uh, it's so good. I don't know who wrote that joke, but that was brilliant. <laughs> we don't take this cover. Uh, with this little hand clasp, his little hand fold. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't take this cover. <laughs> Good episode. Oh, ow, ah. <laughs> but not in our dreams. Ow. Sure, we had him on TV and in magazines and on buses and in the, written in the sky, but not in our dreams. No way. You can't just sit around in the dark listening to classical music. Uh, episode's good. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Michael! Alright, that one's my fault. Uh, and written in the sky. <laughs> Alright. Nope. Yeah. Who's surprised? Raise your hand. <laughs> Ah, okay. So you'll notice, I don't know if you how much you remember Star Tropics 1, but in this one, uh, you can move and attack diagonally, which adds a whole new element. You can also, uh, you can you don't have de predetermined jumps anymore. In Star Tropics 1, like if I were in a space like this, regardless of what direction I was pushing, if I jumped, I would just jump straight up. Uh, but in Star Tropics 2, like you can move and jump, um, you're not just stuck. And there's also a Z dimension now. There's elevations in rooms. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can't just sit in the dark and listen to classical music. I can if you just turn the lights back off. and or what, Yeah, something like that. It's like, I, I can't remember, but yeah, he says something like that. <laughs> like, Not when you turn the lights on and the TV off or something like that. It's good. <laughs> Come on, you. Oi. So these slimes are big jerks, big slow jerks who shoot, and then they're fast little jerks who jump. Ah. Okay, I kind of prefer them this way. Anytime anybody in this house says the word covered, somebody else responds, not covered. That's from a different episode, but excellent Futurama <laughs> line. <laughs> You're covered in bed sores. All right, this time we're going to try and skip the... Uh, that tile, so this is the version of the secret tile. You jump on it, and then the secret appears. Um, like the first one had those little red footprint tiles, and you jump on them, and then like buttons would appear and stuff. This is the version of that. It doesn't have the little tiles that you get locked onto anymore. Now you can much more freedom of movement in this one, which is like a, a two-edged sword because there are times where I've gotten myself killed by forgetting that uh, the jumps aren't, aren't like ballistic and that I can change midair and uh, did stuff like that. Well, that wasn't a jumping error. That was I didn't jump soon enough, um, but fallen into pits because of it. Oh, found all the ginger in the bottom of the glass there. Yeah, all right, Merlin. You could just teleport me to the end of the cave instead. Man, all that all that big talk I had about it. I don't even need those hearts. Oh, gosh. Now I can't even get to the hearts without getting a bat to the face. And this time we'll try over there. Maybe get a potion. Although a potion won't save me from hauling in holes. Yeah, that direction changing while jumping. So if I'm in a room like this and I go to jump over that water. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. These things can hit me, but I have to jump to hit them. I can accidentally, like, in midair, push up, like, thinking I'll just change the direction I'm aiming, but instead, like, fly up and land in the water. I wonder if those will actually be helpful against the slimes. Or if maybe I'm supposed to save them for a much later room in the chapter, because I'm not that far into this chapter. I guess I've beaten one of them. 
dead stops when running are the best examples of doing something unrealistic to trick our monkey brains into thinking it feels realistic. <laughs> I know, right? Like, like any human could ever actually like change what they were doing midair. <laughs> like the Simon's Quest jumps aren't the most realistic jumps. <laughs> or um, the delayed jumps. Which game is it where you you do delayed jumps? You like they actually bend their knees and then jump. I'm like, well, that's. That's what jumping's like. <laughs> ah. Not the uh, World of Warcraft. You go flying into the air and bend your knees midair. Oh, see, the first time I fought this one here, I thought that the little gumdrop split, but it was actually just two jumping on top of each other in perfect sync for a minute. Oh, this one. Yeah, we're staying diagonal from you. Forget it. I, I remember your bubble beam move. Oh, gosh. Please. D oh. Well. Shmow. This level's a gauntlet. It's like just every monster we have, it's going in the Camelot cave. We got... Knights, we got bats, we got giant slimes, we got dinosaurs. Oh yeah, the little skid. <laughs> like in Mario 3. Mario 3 has the skid. Heck, Mario 1 had a technically like a skid, not quite a... Not exactly the same. It was more like a slide, but like the physical mechanic wasn't wildly different. All oh, right, now look at a. Is this better? It doesn't feel better. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I could shoot little three projectiles too. Ow. When do I get my katanas upgraded? I got these in... Ugh. Like medieval Italy. I don't know why I got katanas in Italy. And it called them katanas. I'm not calling them that. Those are your words. I'm quoting you. <laughs> the realism makes it feel like a video game. <laughs> That's funny. That reminds me of a, a Roger Ebert quote when he was talking about the Beauty and the Beast cartoon. He said, like, this is one of those cartoons that when you're a kid feels more real than real life does. Uh, ow. God, what? Ah, there are no iframes in this game at all. You get hit, you can get hit again as fast as it wants to hit you. Oh, I can't. No yo-yo means I can't pick stuff up like that, too. Okay. Let's try and not gork this up. Oh, like that. Yeah. I'm not going for it. Forget it. No. <laughs> you rotten game. <laughs> I couldn't do this to me. Uh, whoa. <sighs> All right. Oof. <sighs> okay. And... Hopefully that's like a checkpoint there, because <laughs> I'm not in a condition here to be beating a boss. Okay, what's the difference between the gold one here and the gray one? The gold one moves faster. And is immune to katana. It's got to hit with mine bullets. Oops, those aren't mine bullets. Or, oh, it's just, it's maybe it's shield makes it invincible. I can't test my theory because every time I try to shoot it, it turns away. And I keep hitting it in the back. Yeah, it looks like you gotta hit it in the back. Which means I should probably switch back to katanas. The katanas are slower though. There we go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Melissa was the one who first called him that. She was like, you mean mind bullets? I was like, yes, mind bullets. And uh, Sarah made me sing some Tenacious D for it. Oh, 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 gosh. Whew. Y 
Jake's. I knew that one was going to happen. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, the other two I didn't know, but the first one I knew. Oh, gosh. Uh. All right. Room. What is that? I don't trust it. I don't trust any of these. Where is it? Oh, Lord. Okay. I guess we're just going to go row by row here. This is dumb, and I hate it. <laughs> oh, gosh. There it is. Oh, there's two of them. I thought this one was one, too. Nope. Oh, guess I just imagined it. How do I open that door, then? Which one's the real door, do you suppose? The other one. Oh! <laughs> Avarice! <laughs> Game designers, you're terrible. All right, <clears throat> Melissa. I put together a whole new batch of jokes, too, because I'm running low on this one. Uh, oh, and it's when you maybe get to answer, Melissa. Why was the math book sad? You should be able to get this one. Started off nice and easy today. All right, so where's the other one, then, if that wasn't the real one? There it is. Awesome. We're already back to beep beeping. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, okay, there's something. Nice. I like that. This almost seems like happy music. But it wouldn't give me hearts if there wasn't going to be a boss. <laughs> Why was the math book so sad? Whoa! Yeah, these guys have mouth bullets. Almost better than mine bullets. Ow! Kind of thought it would die sooner than that. I'm not a big fan of the mine bullets. I guess they do shoot pretty fast. But I just feel bad with them. I feel like I'm never good at them. Too hot to think. Yeah, yeah. You, you got it there, Robbie. That's it. It was because of its problems, or because of all the problems, or because of all its problems, or any variation that floats your boat. Gosh. Alright, this look it this I feel like I went the wrong way. And this is gonna wrap me back around to the beginning. This is a funny enemy design. It'll be little skulls, they spin around, they barf out bones. Be hilarious. Ah! I was kind of hoping those were like armor piercing or something. <laughs> this low life alarm actually makes me want to die just to shut it up. <laughs> so bad. I hope the volume's not too loud for y'all. <laughs> Just like real life, yeah. Oh, goodness gracious, game. Why are you doing this to me? Hey, one more star and I'll get a single heart. This game's finally doing me one tiny kindness eventually. Huh. <sighs> Okay, give me hearts, room. Thank you. Okay, maybe I am going the right way, though. Like, this feels like a little bit too long to be wrapping me back around. <laughs> Forget the stars. You need some tropics. Nice. I do need some tropics. I am tired of Camelot. I do appreciate that these knights are so tall that I can hit them while I'm jumping. Oh, there's my star. Totally going to take more than, yep. It's, I'll get back from whatever. Ah, 
I hate you too game. I do I love this game, but it is so <laughs> it's as as hard as the first one was. Maybe slightly harder. You feel like the jumping and the diagonal movement like will give you like some advantages. You're like, yeah, got all this freedom now, but I don't I don't think that this game is easier than Star Tropics one so far. <sighs> I'll take that. Just use it. Just <laughs> don't even don't even pretend, Mike. Just pick it up and drink it. No. I don't like getting shot. I'm not that kind of Mike. Not my thing. All right, come on. Oh, come, what? That one seemed extra strong. Based on nothing other than I wanted it dead sooner than it wanted itself dead. Ugh. Come on, slimes. Ah, ah, whoa. Oh, okay. A little sip of water here. Shmow. Ooh, okay. What is this thing? Oh, it's a tr it's an actual dragon. Okay. They did say there was a dragon. I'm guessing I can only hurt this thing. Oh, nope. I can hit it whenever I want. Wait, what? What is this? Okay, it's going to do some of that. Of course, yeah. That seems very survivable. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that was rough. Okay, kind of wish I'd gone the other way now. All right. Well, suppose anybody saw any cracks in the wall. I don't know <laughs> the answer to either of those questions. Oh, wait, what? This is not the same way I went last time? Okay, well, a potion's helpful. I like that. I'm not sure even what room I'm in. Where did I restart? Maybe I have to jump to hit it. Do some experimentation there. Oh, okay, so I went right, and I should have gone left. Okay, and then this is the room where I went up, and we want to go right this time to see what's over there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> And hopefully it's not just a dead end with enemies, but some kind of potion or sub-weapon. Okay. So we're going to have to re-kill all that stuff anyway. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, game. I hate you too. Okay, what do we get for this one? We get a little... Okay, we got a potion. Okay, it's nice. Two potions is pretty good. Ooh, and a sub weapon. Get to throw some spike balls at the dragon. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Timmy? Oh no, Lolo two. We have not done yet. I don't even. Ah, uh, gosh, I don't even remember Lolo two. How you doing tonight, Timmy? What are you reading? What are you watching? What are you playing? What are you working on? You missed Adventures of Lolo. We played Adventures of Lolo a couple weeks ago. It, it actually, I don't know, maybe it was like two months ago. Uh, we've been streaming now for four months, if you can believe that. I don't feel like it's been that long. Whoa, wow! Uh, and it was just me and Timmy hanging out. Uh, I did play a little more Lolo again after I beat Kickle Cubicle. But I didn't play the whole game because I already beaten it. That was back when I was playing those games on emulator and hating every second of it. Although I did go back and rebeat Lolo and Kickle Cubicle on my NES hardware uh, just to make it more legitimate to myself. But I'm not in a hurry to play those ones on stream again.
Whew. But this is Star Tropics 2, Timmy. And it's really good and really difficult. A lot of fun, though. I don't know if you remember either of the times I played Star Tropics 1, but that's one of my favorite NES games. And uh, I played that one a lot more than I played this one, but I'm having a lot of fun playing this one too. I'm pretty close to the end of the game. I'm either in the last chapter or the second last chapter by my estimations. But I just got mollywhomped by a dragon two seconds ago. <laughs> it was pretty, pretty rough. Because they, uh, they spared no expense when it came to stuffing this dungeon with tough monsters. Just get dead. Thank you. Phew. Two player Lolo. Oh, heck yeah. Actually, yeah, Timmy. Uh, I plan on doing that anyway. I want to upgrade to a, a snowball mic. Um, and do uh, some two-player games with Rory and Nia. And, uh, yeah, but I get them to sing, no problem. Nope, one more. Oh, gosh, one more. Come on, it's got one hit left. Oops. Yeah, that was the one that had one hit left. Let's use one. <laughs> Gotta build up that following. So, uh, yeah, I'll have them play Rampage with me. I didn't know Lolo 2 was two player, but I guess Lolo 2 now, too. Uh, Toe Jam and Earl, Contra, all kinds of stuff. Oh, gosh. I got still alive stuck in my head. I heard it on the harp earlier today. And now I've been singing it all day. And this melody is kind of like, that part of it right there is reminding me of it. Woohoo, I got a heart. <clears throat> I'm writing out some D &D, more D&D crap for my ungrateful players. Uh -huh. <laughs> like there's such a thing as a grateful player, come on. I did watch you play the first part of Star Tropics 1. Also, it was my idea first, so don't lie. It's still my idea. I actually had, I mentioned it like two streams ago, so I've got video evidence. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part of D&D &D are the players. What about Trollolo? I was singing that earlier to do t today too, Travis. Lo, 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 lo. <laughs> Bubble. Oh, I also have Bubble Bobble. Oh, yeah. Gold, uh, Golden Axe. Oh, I tried playing Golden Axe a little while ago. That game is more obnoxious than I remember. But uh, it would be fun to play it two-player and Double Dragon. Yeah, the, the girls love... We play uh, Castle Crashers, all three of us, and love that. So any kind of side-scrolling beat-em-up like that works. Oh, yeah. Hey, Timmy, if you didn't already use your Amazon Prime thing, uh, use that... On, on my channel here because uh, I said so. No, because I want to see if... Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, Gauntlet and Gauntlet, too. I got to get a multi-tap. We'll play a three-player. I want to see if it counts for sub points. We're trying to unlock another emote here. Oh, slimes. I forgot about the slimes. Just die. Ow! Ow! No, stop shooting me. Don't shoot me. It's, I'm not the guy who likes being shot. You have me mistaken with a different uh, time traveling mic. Oh, this has to stop. I can't handle any more of it. <laughs> I'm just going to drink both of them. Uh I did back a while ago. Now I have to pay to resubscribe. 
<laughs> and I'm not on Twitch enough to have viewers money. No, you can uh, you can use that Amazon Prime thing every once a month. Unless you already used it on somebody else, that's fine. I only meant if you had it available, and I'm not really that serious about it anyway. Um, I'm not keeping any of the money anyway, so. Pew, pew, pew. Just trying to get a new emote unlocked. Okay, dragon. Yeah, maybe the head head was the right call. Yeah, that seems to be working. Ah, goodness gracious, please don't body me. I feel like that would be even worse. Okay, so we've found a seemingly safe place to stand. Safe-ish. Oh, gosh. Ugh. This is kind of working, huh? Ow. That that part didn't work so much. Okay, well, if the projectiles disappear, how can I dodge them? Gosh, that's a lot of spikes. Ow. Ow. I hope it dies soon, because... A lot of options here. <laughs> Goodness. All right. Can you say dead? <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, I was going to say, I need a bridge. <laughs> Those little spikes are going to disappear. <laughs> okay. Yay, there's the L, the last Tetrad. Okay, so as I say, you're the only person I watch, and I guess I have no idea to do that. Oh, yeah, when you go to resubscribe, you should just have the option to do it with Prime. Um, if the account is linked in your Prime, you just click on the top, like you're going to subscribe, and then there's a second option, or wherever the subscribe button is. Yeah, there should be something that says, like, subscribe for free or something like that. Um, if you're not subscribed to anybody else, then you should be able to reuse your, your Twitch one every month. But you have to do it manually. Like, you can't ha set it up to auto resub, I don't think. I don't know. I just go find, like, buds who uh, are, like, just kind of starting out and uh, throw my free sub at whoever I land on whenever the new month comes around. Actually, I don't know if I've used mine this month. <laughs> Any of you guys want to stream? I'll, I'll come sub to you. <laughs> all right. Got all the hearts. You try to put all the tetrads together, but nothing happens? Oh, no. All right, Merlin. Oh, hey, it did work. Okay, so now we're at 13 sub points. Two more sub points, and we'll get the emote. I didn't see an alert for it. I, oh, I think you probably got to hit the announcement there in chat to announce that you sub for two months. But thanks for the two months and... Uh, Enjoy your badge. I don't know why nobody's badges display. That's so weird. But maybe I'm doing something wrong. Oh, maybe it's because I'm in mod mode. No, I don't know why I can't see any of y'all's badges. Because I'm a bad streamer, I guess. All right. Doesn't know how to put tetrads together. Micah will help me, maybe. Mike, can you hear me? Mike, can you hear me? Oh, there it goes. You're welcome, hoser. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, so now we're at 13 sub points. That's good. That's good. All right, come back to Sea Island, hurry. Okay, it's gonna hop in the magic. Uh, bird is the word book here. You turn to the last page and say the magic words. Ba -ba 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 -oo -mow -mow. Ba -ba -oo -mow -mow -mow. Well, don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody's talking about the bird. I have an idea for streaming in the future, so I'll remember it when I need those subs for my channel. Hey, I already follow you. I follow all my followers, so I can <laughs> I'll get a notification. And I'll come by. Oh, wow, it's Sea Island, just like in the first one. Colors are a little different. You appear. Hmm, palm trees. A beach. I'm on Sea Island. You've got to help Micah. Hurry to Coral Cola. I wonder if uh, I have to go through that dungeon again. 
The cave's not there. Oh, where'd all the people go? It's all pigs. The uh, village has been taken over by boars. Or uh, Zodaz came through and turned them all into boars. Oh yeah, well, and it's an island shaped like a sea. And it's the only island he's ever been to. Actually, in the in the first tropics, the Star Tropics, you go to six different islands, and they're all the same. Palm trees and sand. <laughs> they updated the, uh, the sprite work here in the village. Looks interesting. All right. I'm just going to check the chieftain's hut real quick. The, like, the hut's on stilts. It looks pretty cool. Yep, the chieftain is also... What? Whoever turned them into pigs also turned their decorations into pigs? <laughs> That's commitment to your curse. <laughs> oh, no. I couldn't even tell you if I was in the U.S. if you dropped me off on a beach I grew up near. <laughs> Michael, welcome back to Coral Cola. The strangest thing has happened. I came back from fishing and found all the villagers had changed to wild boars. They're not that wild. And if that isn't weird enough, odd sounds have been coming from this tunnel. Please help us, Mike. Oh, hey, this is the tunnel from the first one, the first dungeon in the uh, first game. wonder if there's a giant dead snake in it. Ah, this is the music from the first one, too. This is, these are the, this is so far the same uh, architecture, too. This is the first room. Uh... But in the first one, this is not the exact same music track. It's a redone track, but it's the same melody. Um, oh, nice. Wow, really generous. It was ever, uh, it was um, slugs the first time around. Same again here, same room. It's funny. Mac Crunch? Map Crunch? I have never even heard of Map Crunch. Are you talking to me or are you talking to my... D&D map-making map brother. Talking to the world. Yeah, okay. But, well, for my part, I've never even heard of Map Crunch. And the rats, yep. This is so funny that they remade this dungeon. These rats don't behave the exact same. <laughs> they also hurt you for a lot more. This is so fun. Ow! Rude! It drops you at a random place on Google Earth, and you have to walk around and guess where you are on Earth? That sounds cool! <laughs> I remember I had a coworker at Boeing who was like, uh, hey, where's the strip? Can you show me on Google Maps? I was like, sure. And, uh, and he pulled up, you know, like, Googled Las Vegas. And I was like, I think the strip starts, like, right there. And I, like, put the cursor on the, where I thought, like, the strip begins. I was like, I think that's where, like, that Camelot Hotel is. I think that that's the beginning of the strip. And he went down to Street View, and it was looking right at the back of a giant truck just covered in uh, basically naked women. And I was like... Uh, yeah, this is the place. <laughs> the, the, you're on the strip. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, what's going on, Showerhead? How you doing tonight? What you reading? What you watching? What you playing? What you working on? This is my standard battery of questions that I barrage everybody with now. I am at the end of Star Tropics 2 here. At least it feels very much like the end. It's very much the first dungeon from Star Tropics 1. It's got the same monsters and everything in it. It's very fun. Or at least the Star Tropics 2 versions of those monsters. And it's got the Star Tropics 1 uh, song. So that one over there should open the door, and this one should be a sub weapon. But instead of slimes, it's or instead of little worms, it's got. Oh no, they switched it up on me. Oh, would that open? Instead of worms, it's got hoppy slimes. Banging my head against the path of exile, uh huh, and procrastinating on being productive. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. 
Pro POE is probably the top game I'd be obsessed with if I had the time. Oh gosh, that game is great. I, I yeah, I can barely get started in it, but uh, it's great. You remind me of a uh, a tweet I read the other day, Showerhead. Oh gosh, what kind of nightmare is this? Brilliant. Um, it said. Uh, wife you know asks me how my day was and she and I say oh good I was really productive and she says productive is something useful and then uh, it's like me puts away my paper clip paper clip grappling hook <laughs> that doesn't count as your joke there I'll get you a real joke but I was just like I was like I've made a paper hook grappling gra paper hook grappling hook all right Melissa Another joke. Hopefully it's better than this. Oh, this one's pretty good. <coughs> <laughs> this is appropriate to what we were talking about, too. So uh, I want to go on a diet, but I feel like I just have way too much on my plate right now. So I, I was saying earlier that uh, I got a whole new list of jokes. I got a whole, uh, an entire second sheet printed out because Travis here has been. Oh, I'll I'll tell it again. I said uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about going on a diet, but I feel like I have way too much on my plate right now. Uh, <laughs> that's why Robbie said ugh. Uh, so I printed. I I curated a bunch of jokes off the internet. A lot of them from like Reader's Digest, and uh, apparently that's still a thing. It's just online now. And I had uh, Rory QA them for me. <laughs> we were literally dizzy. <laughs> um, that's funny. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect joke. Uh, Rory was helping me go through them and uh, <clears throat> clipping out the bad ones. Oh, hey, the snake is back. It's a skeleton snake, though. I wonder if you can cheese it like we. It looks like you can't. They. Looks like they. They made it so you can't cheese this one. Undead snake. Stop getting hit. Ow. Stop! Oh gosh, what a waste of two potions! Ugh. That was that was lame on my part. I was being a goon. I thought there were yeah, okay. I want my potions back. Ugh. All those work into getting those potions. Yeah, toasty. I that was being a doofus. I had two potions. I could have used at any time to not die there, but I can't. I don't know. I was being kind of lazy and kept kind of expecting the snake to die. But my my strategy of jump into its bullets and not shoot it very much didn't didn't really pan out. Alright, so I'll just use them. At, from the outset at this time. <clears throat> I got food and I'm home. I can see you can start streaming now. <laughs> All right. So welcome to Star Tropics 2, everybody. My name is Mickey Dadrad. Uh, I stream games that were made before you were born. Boy. For the purposes of revenge. <laughs> it was good at that. That's true. That's true. You know what, Showerhead? My my wife is always saying that a weakness is just a strength applied in the wrong context. So if I was trying to survive and kill the snake, yes, it was a weakness. But if I was trying to make the snake feel good about itself or feel like it was getting revenge on me for killing it last game, then uh, it's a strength. Was
was this one what? Ow. Oh, uh, this one? Actually, no. This one, this is like one of the last games to come out for the NES, Melissa. So this one's definitely uh, older than you are. Or younger than you are, I mean. <laughs> Said that wrong. Oh, gosh. Ah, I kind of thought that wouldn't hit me. I don't know why every other projectile it shot has hit me. I don't know why I thought that one would be different. Okay. Like, I can't seem to really hit it while it's shooting. A <laughs> snake made of bones. <laughs> What's the strength of ripping a hangnail? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Silver linings for sure. <laughs> Weakness leaving the body. <laughs> that, that's not a thing. <laughs> okay, this this is new. This wasn't part of Star Tropics 1. Ugh. You better. Now we're back to Star. Oh gosh, pick a path. All right, we're gonna go eeny, meeny, okay, top was first. Ooh, so far so good, although bottom did have access to a potion. Oh, psh, I can take all the paths I want, technically. Oh wait, can I? Can I jump fast enough to, nope. <laughs> all right, left or right? Oh gosh, top had no potions. Look at all those potions back there I could, I could be getting right now. Right. I shouldn't listen to you. Okay, got a potion. That's good. This is kind of fun. I wonder if I can get those hearts. Yeah. Come on, hearts. Nice. Come on, you can do it, Mike. <laughs> okay, now left or right? All right, Melissa said right. I know she was talking about the other one, but we're going to go right on this one, too. Oh, even though we knew hearts were there. Ah! Okay. What is it? Where is it? I heard it laughing. Okay. <laughs> Reported. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a boss rush? <laughs> this is a Yum Yum from the Ice Age. Oh, gosh, there's some bosses I am not looking forward to fighting again. I feel like the Psychic Blast is the way to go here. Didn't even have this weapon last time I fought Yum Yum. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention earlier, Robbie, also that like in ancient Egypt, a monkey taught me how to shoot mine bullets, and then somebody taught me how to upgrade it, and then Merlin taught me how to upgrade it again. I did hear it laughing. The black and white with the colored sprite is trippy. Yeah, it's very uh, very moody. And then the oh, the scorpion. I feel like yeah, it's gonna shoot at me. This is total boss rush here, Mega Man style. Uh, uh, leave me alone. I mean, I know it's your job, but... Gosh, I do like how far these mind bullets shoot. If I can just stay at high enough health to use them. Can't have a, uh, you can't shoot mind bullets with a, with a weakened constitution. My granddaddy always said that. Okay, and this was the Sphinx thing, or not Sphinx, the uh, yeah, King Tut head. Yeah, and it goes berserk mode. Yep, like that, and starts shooting out those. We don't want to be there for it. No, that's right. It's got an angry mode. Ow! No, no, don't take away my mind bullets. Ow! It does look like the Mars Attacks face. I know the no yo-yo. I got swords now and mine bullets. I loved that yo-yo. Okay, you know what? Actually, we're going to go for it to upgrade my mine bullets. I did not like this boss. I don't really remember it, but I remember I didn't like it. And then I immediately walk into the ding boss. 
Yeah, I remember it doing that. Ow! Ouch. Okay. If I recall, it does that blue flame attack more often than the skull one. I mean, if you don't want to hit it, that's fine. Which, if you say so, Melissa, I think I just spazzed a bunch. <laughs> I don't know that I ever perfected a method. Ow. I am trying a new method here where I jump into every skull it shoots. Because I just jump immediately when it appears like a spaz instead of waiting for him to start an attack and responding to it. It's very un unkarate of me. Ow. Okay, that time I just waited until after the attack had resolved to ensure that it was the kind of attack I thought it was going to be while it was happening. Ow. Youch. Ah, come on. Gosh, where is it going to make me continue? Zodax. So that was that first Zoda we killed. Then there was the one where I had to, in the sewer, like jump around on the platforms, I think. Oh, no. That. This gold miner guy. I forgot about him. Him. It. It's a skeleton. Doesn't really have many. Oh, no. Bad place to get stunned. Well, so. For all of you who missed the first two parts of this game, you get to see all the bosses again. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> that is so cold, game. Oh. All right, so we'll be finishing Star Tropics 2 on Sunday. <sighs> yeah, okay, so somebody pay attention this time to which, <laughs> which of these paths has the good stuff. All right, the potion was good. Okay, so bottom one has the potion, but the top one's got eight hearts. So, if I fill up on this path, the potion's better. But if I don't end up with full hearts, then uh, that eight hearts is eight hearts beats a potion there. Okay, here's a oh no, two potions beats eight hearts. That's pretty good. Okay, gosh, actually, potion city over here, and I could get I can get. Can I jump? I can probably get that other potion and these hearts. Come on, come on. Come on, Mikey. This is fun, I'll tell ya. Uh, jump, 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 jump. Come on. How many potions can you hold? At least five. I'm gonna be bummed if I get... Try to get six and it won't let me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> the, the, the game doesn't like what I'm doing. It's gonna punish me with those spikes there at the end. Worth it. Seven potions? Alright. Ow. Ow. Worth it. <sighs> okay. Now I will have mind bullets. Alright. Let's do the thing where, where we're careful and don't get hit a bunch. Let's try that. So I went down and then right, although that doesn't really seem to matter because those two paths ended up being connected to each other. But apparently the opposite of what Robbie said turned out to be the best idea. Who could have guessed? So this was Yum Yum. He was fattening up uh, cave people to eat them for lunch later, but he didn't, didn't get to his meal because I wrecked it for him. The don't get dead game plan. Yep, that's the, that's the one. Melissa knows. <laughs> That's generally how it goes. <laughs> Whoa, that scorpion was doing its job. I always respect a uh, scorpion with a work ethic. Uh. <laughs> Rob
Robbie said it first. He was wrong first. Also, Robbie's Robbie, so. Yeah. Thought it was going to do the Mars attacks on me. Those Metal Gear Scorpions could learn a thing or two. Yeah, those Metal Gear Scorpions were just goofing off. Just spinning in circles, getting mowed down by my machine gun. I'm just happy to be not hit. <laughs> Gosh, am I even the same player I was last time I fought this fool? <laughs> Snow Bros. Oh gosh, I forgot about Snow Bros. I will <laughs> implementing my idea. <laughs> I'll have to put that one in the list. I totally forgot about that. All right, I'm gonna drink one here. How these boulders are doing all of that. It is not consistent with any boulder behavior I've witnessed. Gosh, he was way easier that time. <laughs> the boss a thon. It's called a boss rush, alright? It's a staple of Mega Man games. Uh next game actually I'll be playing. Oh, this is the the vampire or the Zoda that turns into an owl. And it was actually helpful to leave one of these bats alive when I'm fighting the owl form. I recall. Ow. Um, I'm actually, I've been practicing Mega Man 2, and I'll be able to, that's the next game that I stream, so. I'll probably beat this one here tonight. I don't imagine that. Um, I'm very far from the end, what with the boss rush currently happening. Um, and so, Maybe Sunday if D and D is canceled, which it probably will be, I'll stream Mega Man 2. And of course, we're gonna do it in the order of the Mega Man 2 rap, because that's the only order to beat the boss in. All right, here's the owl thing. I'm gonna leave one bat alive this time, like last time, because it starts doing this biz. Ah. ah. I don't remember the advantage to leaving the bat. Oh, because it doesn't spit out more bats if there's just one bat. I think. Maybe I... This was a terrible idea. I don't know what the advantage was in my head. Okay, I lost my good mind bullets. So we're going back to... Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Hit the t You're gonna. I'm not going to do the whole rap for one karaoke. <laughs> I do know that rap, though. <laughs> and it's not a... It's not family friendly. I'll do the family friendly version. <laughs> Love that rap. Whenever um I've been so I've been practicing uh you know Meg Mega Man 2 and I'm playing it out here in the loft and whenever I'm fighting Bubble Man, I will say, I will announce so that Sarah can hear me in the other room. I'm Bu my name is Bubble Man, I got something to say. And she goes dead before I'm even done saying it every time. <laughs> That's why she's my favorite person. <laughs> and of course this boss is just as tough as when I beat it five seconds ago. Yeah. yeah. Kind of almost seemed to work. Whoops.
This is a fun boss design. Not gonna lie. Ooh, beat it much faster that time. Give me my platforms, please. Okay. And I'm gonna gobble these up just in case, or at least two of them. I don't imagine it's gonna let me keep that last one, so I might be throwing away a single heart here, but just, but just in case. Why are you giving me options? Oh, a vitamin. That's interesting. So I totally wasted those potions unless it takes them away from me. Totally wasted those potions. 100% <laughs> wasted. Oh, I see. This one's purple. Those ones are blue. Gosh, this is obnoxious. Come on, you. I don't know how apparent it is to you guys, but that uh, the difference between these colors wasn't very noticeable for me at first. It took me a second to realize that one of them was a different color. Okay, now I can waste this potion too. 2.4 thousand rad jokes. Excellent. You can request it if you want. I'll give you part of it. <laughs> I love the the Dwayne and Brando. Uh, but he doesn't just fight fear. I thought it was a red pill, blue pill situation. <laughs> Ooh, all right. So this must be Zoda Z, or Zodaz, as I like to imagine his friends call him. Wow! Ow! No, he's gonna take away my good mind bullets. Load him up. Oh, this game has turned into Blaster Master. Whoa! What? I'm a pig! Ah! I hope this doesn't stay like this. Okay. <laughs> turned into Richard Lewis there for a second. I hope it's worth the noise. Ah. <laughs> oh. Zodaz is gamer tag. <laughs> Oh, what is that thing? That's a tail, right? Oh, this is a family-friendly stream, Michael. What's wrong with you? Ow. Do I have to be airborne to hit this thing? It's like a Mewtwo over here. So apparently Mewtwo just... What? Even... Uh, even Pokemon was stealing from Star Tropics. Well, gosh, this guy's got all kinds of moves. Now I gotta hang out pretty close. Well, I don't even know what that move is. Ow. Ow! Whoa, that was painful. Oh no, it wasn't painful. I'm just a pig now. I thought it killed me there for a second. I thought it was a. I turned into a little angel ghost thing. Like, what is this new move? Quit coming up with new moves. Ow! <laughs> it's a ripper from Tank Girl. <laughs> Curse my delay, stole all my, t stole my tail joke. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Was not expecting that. Gosh, that was rough. All right, this time we're going to get all them potions and not waste them all. We're going to go squander them all because now we know we're getting that pill. Okay. That way we'll have more mind bullets. Ooh, tried to get me. All right. Ooh, don't. Okay, phew. get off screen there. I won't be able to get back up here. There we go. <sighs> yeah, in the first one, you, they, it had those things that were called vitamins, and what it did was it would heal you all the way up to a maximum of hearts, even past your current maximum, um, and then would like slowly tick down back to your actual maximum. There was only like, they were only in three chapters, and so when you actually do have max hearts, it was basically just a full heal. You could get them in chapter seven and in chapter eight in the first Star Tropics. 
I wonder if I can get through this with only taking the the one damage. Let's see. If I can jump like to the middle and then yeah, nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I as a kid I would have given up on this. I'd have been like, well, that's not possible. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That took everything I had. I was, I was just saying yesterday that my number one advantage as an adult video gamer seems to be that I'm more patient than I was as a kid. Uh, and uh, so I don't have as much time to play video games as an adult as I did as a kid. But I definitely am more patient, and so I die less. And dying less seems to be the key to beating a lot of video games. Oops. Okay. <laughs> now the scorpion. What? You saw that mind bullet there go through two scorpions, right? Oh, maybe because it was airborne. Maybe I had that mind bullet up in the air, actually. And these aren't the uh, tallest of scorpions. Your uh, standard one inch off the ground scorpion. I don't like hanging up there by the scorpion dispenser. <laughs> I am talking too much. Mind bullets are great, but when your hearts get low, you lose them. <clears throat> the mind bullets get pretty timid when you... Uh, it's just like the yo-yo in the first one. When you would, you'd get your yo-yo upgraded, and then if you took damage, your yo-yo would downgrade, you know? You had the uh, shooting star at 6 hearts, and then you needed 11 hearts for the supernova. I don't know what the, the numbers of hearts are required, but I, I feel like right now I'm at the absolute minimum I can be and still have the good mind bullets. Oh, see, yeah, there, lost the good mind bullets. So I'm going to try and preserve as many potions as I can for cheater mode Zoda. Zoda. Zoda Z. No, Zoda Z. Yeah, we're on Zodas. Zodas. And, uh, so I make the most out of that red pill. Just gonna chill <laughs> till the next episode here. Yeesh. I have made it clear that I'm not a fan of this particular boss, right? I did not like this one the first time around. Like, it's a fun boss design. It's just... It, this, one, this one gets me tense. <laughs> Who else is tense? <sighs> the phrase Nintendo hard was invented for a reason. <laughs> oh! Ow! No! My good mind bullets! No! <sighs> I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. Just like punishing myself. Oh! <sighs> I <laughs> went and been waiting on the Star Tropics 2 balance patch for 25 years. <laughs> Keep the dying less tip in mind <laughs> when it comes to the rough house in Smash Bros. tomorrow. Yeah, so we already have a, a subscription uh, to that, that Nintendo online or whatever it is uh, called. Um, we needed it so that we could visit other people's animals in uh, an or other people's islands in Animal Crossing. Speaking of which, any of you tried that new dream thing yet? We didn't quite know what was going on there. Talked to Luna for a minute and then bailed. But if anybody ever wants our dream code, I suppose I can get it to them. Can't avoid the stun. Kind of thought, like, if I could jump, I could avoid it, but game programmers were not on that. That was not part of their vision for the undead miner boss. Get 
Did I don't think so. Oh, that one was dead set on getting me. Whoa. These are not piercing mind bullets. Come on, just be dead. Just be dead. Just, just, could you don't? Come on. Thank you. Well, my bad, Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I loved your item, Melissa. <laughs> we got Animal Crossing on every day here. I'm always working on my flowers. Yeah, mine bullets are o o o o o p. This this feels like cheating. I'm not. I'm I'm okay with it. I'm not feel. I don't feel bad about it. But it is very strong. Ow! Now stop it! Oh, that's. <laughs> okay, that was that was all me being boneheaded. But that's why I remembered reducing the bat count because those bats can just hit you so quickly and just your health gone oh and i was so distracted remembering that that i decided to take a little jump in the uh, pit there all right that's all right <laughs> woohoo tried to get me again oh that was brutal <laughs> what a dumb way to die it was like that Australian YouTube video. Dumb ways to die. Come on. Working on my weeds. <laughs> yeah, they'll be there when you come back. That's how I am with my World of Warcraft account. I'm like, ah, all my characters will be there when I come back and play again. <laughs> they'll all they'll all actually be half the level I left them at though, thanks to the new update. <laughs> the new expansion that's coming out and squishing everybody's levels. All right. Oh, nope, not getting the single that time. That's all right. Okay, got my potions. Try and get hit fewer times, try and jump in fewer pits. And beat Mewtwo Zoda. I feel like Mewtwo Zoda's gotta be the boss of the game. Like, there's no way there's more than that, right? Come on, Scorpion. No, come on. There we go. All right. Now, King Tut. Rad Dog. Oh, you know what? I didn't even get set up for that. Let's. Hopefully, she's ready to go. Rad Dog summoned. Should be good. Yeah, inside. Oh, whoa! Over here pushing buttons. Inside the uh, the Mewtwo is Doctor Wily. Of course, he's gonna come out and give me the eyebrows. <laughs> Trying to leave before he's done dying. Mecha Mewtwo Zoda. Yeah, I can. I can. I can get behind the Mecha Mewtwo Zoda name. That's pretty good. Obviously, we're calling this one Chub Tut. What a chunky little effigy. Or what do they call that thing? Not an effigy. Like a bust, but just a face. Oh, yep, I hear the dog. Awesome. Thank you so much for your attentiveness and for your willingness to do this. 
Here comes the red dog. Hopefully she is the blessing that I need. Oh, she's so tired. She's so sleepy, baby. Hopefully she is the good luck I need to beat the boss of the game here. Make sure that she's uh, really well visible on camera. Don't get too close now. This is Mac, for those of you who are not familiar with Mac. Her name is short for Macchiato. She is a rescue dog from Mexico. She is part American Staffordshire Terrier, and part Doberman, and part Tunnel Snake. Hi, baby girl. And she is all sweetness. And all legs. She hit Knocking my microphone. Knocking my microphone, huh? All right, give me kisses. Give me baby girl. She loves kisses, and she has such long legs, she just, she can't handle them. She's just so clumsy. And we call her Coffee Knocker, because if you're drinking coffee, she will knock it out of your hands. Spill it all over you. Oh, I guess she's leaving now. Bye, Rad Dog. Thanks, Nia. I love you, too. But Zoda needs my love more than you do right now. <laughs> she said, dang. <laughs> NBC needs my love more than you do, son. <laughs> the Finder Outer. Do I quote Futurama too much? <laughs> oh, no! Fire! Ow! Super Mega Triple Fire! Ah! Oh, Michael, that was not cool. The uh, Yeah, no iframes at all in this game. You get hit, it'll just let you get hit over and over again. Oh, yeah, she was so tired. <laughs> Tunnel Snake's rule. We are the tunnel snakes. She is a tunnel snake. She loves to burrow under blankets. If there's anything even remotely like a blanket, she's going to stick her face under it and start digging. Thank you. All right. What's next? Undead miner. Whoa. These rocks aren't being random at all. They're coming for me. Oh, nice. I have got like a two cycle on that one. Yeah, the min pin. She's a, she's very guard doggy too. She's got some, some guard doggy tendencies. Very, very barky at noises. Um, the first time I shaved my beard and came down the stairs, she treated me like um, a total intruder. She just lost her mind barking at me. Like, who is this? Why is he in our house? <laughs> like, Mac, Mac, it's me. Cool it. Any kind of weird noises will make her go off, too. All right, owl. Let's not jump in the pit. Landing in the spikes is preferable to jumping in the pit. Ow. Ow. But getting hit by the feathers is better than getting hit by the spikes. Ah. Come on. I don't want to. Yes. Okay. So now what do we got? That was vampire. So next is... Dragon? Okay, good. Actually, let's save those. Since this one's a little more predictable. And these mine bullets do a ton of damage. Whoops. Hey! What? I'm gonna submit a disagreement to uh, Nintendo Japan for that uh, decision to hit me with that fireball there. I don't think that that was a... Uh, how do you say? A collision. Oh, don't get bodied by the dragon. All right, we're going to try and beat it without using a potion. Come on. Because the red pill is right there in the next room. He 
Now I got three potions for Mecha Mewtwo Zoda. <laughs> Being not Mooch is all she needs to be. <laughs> Mooch. Ah, mooch. Okay. Here we go. It had a first form, right? What did the first form even do? I don't remember. Oh, this. This is what it was. Oh, come on! I get hit jumping into the air, and then I get hit landing on it. It's just... No iframes at all. If you hear me whining about iframes, that's invincibility frames. Like in regular video games when you get hit and then you're invincible for a few seconds afterward. So that stuff like that doesn't happen. <laughs> that's what iframes are. That's what pro gamers like me call them. Ah! Because <laughs> we don't have time to say invincibility. I'm going to shut my mouth and focus on saving the world here. All right, Mewtwo. Where's my 20s? Where's my, my deal with it, ducks? Those are not deal with the ducks. You want me to jump in a pit? Thank you, Melissa. Gosh, I still don't really know how that attack works. I mean, that one didn't really, didn't really hit me. Gosh, this is like fighting Mother Brain in Metroid. It just feels like it takes a million hits. All right, this is, this is my last set of good mind bullets here. And then we're getting the. Then we're switching to spike balls. Gosh. I feel like I'm doing not a lot of hitting Zoda here. Whoa, that's right. He's got this one now. Ah, what is that thing even? Okay, you can stop doing that now. I hate it. Thank you. <laughs> Let's never do that again. It's apparently invincible while it's doing all that. Come on, come on. There we go. That's the good stuff. Okay. Please be the, have been the boss of the game. Could you don't? Indeed. <laughs> so that that is actually the same duck to me. If you go down to the rad jokes, one of the things, uh, one of the options is modify an emote, and you can put sunglasses on it. 20s! Uh, gosh, that has to be the end of the game, right? That's got to be the boss of the game. That was brutal. <laughs> okay. Hey, yeah, these are the Argonians. Thanks for saving us, Mike. I have many things to tell you, but now we've got to make sure that the coral colons are okay. Oh, no, that pig spell is totally temporary. It just lasts for like 10 seconds. I'll meet you at the Chief's Hut. Ah, oh, what a good game! Ah, oh, when like a when a final boss is like that hard, but also beatable, it just it feels good. It feels good like getting a a good score on a uh, on like a, a difficult test, <laughs> a test that you're like well prepared for. Thanks for saving us, Mike. That's a good that's a good game. Welcome back to the uh, present, Mike. I hear you went through time and space. I sure did. These are all the same NPCs from the first one, too. Boy, where do you come from, Americola? <laughs> she said the same thing last time. I still feel a little strange. Oink, oink, snort. <laughs> and there's the real pig that actually was a pig the whole time. I'm going to roast a pig for your victory. I hear you like rare roast. What a barbarian. Uh, in the beginning of the game, when I talked to the guy in the Ice Age, he said, you cook it? called me a barbarian for cooking it. Oh, that pig's mad at me. 
Thank you, Mike. Though, oh, what did you say? Though I did enjoy being a wild boar too. Oh, okay. Thanks for saving us, Mike. At least he was like open-minded to the experience. Time Lord, yeah. She really came at that like it was small talk. Hi, <laughs> Mike. You've done it. What a great boy. <laughs> This is also a track from the first one. It's not exactly the same. It's like a remade track. <laughs> Travel through time and space. Ah, what's the food? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I, I I thought about doing that after college, but I went right into that. I got a good internship and decided not to travel through time and space. I miss Coral. Remember me? You look totally cool. I do remember you. Wow, you zapped the Zodas. Too cool. Show me how to old, use the ultra psychic shockwave sometime. It's not for the faint of heart. Thanks for saving us, Mike. I feel like they're all going to say the same thing. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. That one said something slightly different. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> you are a wild boar. You are a wild boar. <laughs> all right. What's Mike I got to say? Mike, the village is back to normal. You have saved us all once again. We will be forever indebted to you. Where's Dr. J, though? Now let's put the tetras together and see what happens. Okay. You guys remember what happened when I put the cubes together? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> How do I put them together? Yeah. The hero returns. Welcome back, Mike. You are a power player indeed. Perhaps I can help you with those tetras. After all, Tetris is my middle name. Oh, that's helpful. The chief puts the tetras together. The first one turned into an escape pod, and all these Argonians here popped out of it. And now we play Tetris. Excellent. These, the chieftains on these islands have some uh, erudite knowledge sometimes, if that's how you pronounce erudite. I don't think I've ever heard that word in my life. Uh, like one knows how to fix submarines. This one knows how to put tetrads together. I remember having to talk to every NPC because I didn't want to miss anything. Then developers started giving NPCs multiple lines. Then they may have started to make sense of the different after certain points in the story. Tis the worst. Uh, you got that compulsiveness, huh? Oh, it's like a little tree? A flower? Ooh, flash warning. <laughs> oh, it's the king. I guess Micah's not the queen anymore. It's Hirokan. Hello, Mike. Thank you so much for saving me. Father, you're alive. I guess having your dad back makes be being demoted from queen more palatable, though. Micah, I'm so glad that you arrived here safely. Yeah, it did kind of look like a sword hilt. Actually, it still kind of looks like a sword hilt. <laughs> when trouble began on Argonia, I sent you away in the escape pod and then had my essence transferred to these tetrachia. Oh, so Harry Potter totally ripped off this thing, too. Isn't that what the bad guy in Harry Potter did? He put his essences into tetrads. Now, thanks to Mike, we are all safe. And together, we can go back to Argonia and rebuild our society. Oh, you're going to leave? I thought you were just getting comfortable. Goodbye, Mike. Apparently, yeah, whole horcruxes, yeah, those. Apparently, she's speaking Aragonian now. Thanks again, Mike, or I got a corrupted ROM here. I don't know what that was about. You will always hold a place as the hero of Argonia. Flash warning again. Gosh, hope I'm not sending anybody to the hospital with this video game here. Oh, she said, I'll be thinking about you backwards. Oh, of course she did. Uh, it was a reverse thing. Thank you, Robbie, for noticing that. Oh, yeah. Closing cinematic. Oh, wow. What perfect timing, too. It's like 9.57. Oh, there's there's Chuck Schumer again. That's actually uncle, my uncle there, Mike's uncle, Dr. J. But I think he looks like Chuck Schumer. That was back in the... Uh, oh, Jerry Seinfeld worked on this. Um... Back when we were in the Ice Age, there's Yum Yum fattening up his future victims. And there was some uh, cave artist named Picasso or something like that who drew those little signs on the wall that helped me navigate the maze. Uh, <laughs> then we went to ancient Egypt and got a pizza and rode a camel. And there was a guy on a Koopa Troopa. Then we met Sherlock Holmes, who apparently Japanese game developers think is a real historical figure. And then we first kind of ran into Zoda. Then we met the undead miner in San Francisco. The first one had a prettier slideshow. Then we freed Da Vinci from his... Uh, <laughs> doesn't that guy look like Chuck Schumer? 
freed Da Vinci from his uh, statue. Then we fought the giant owl vampire. Good old Gerald Sinfeld. <laughs> it's like the most <laughs> knockoff Jerry Seinfeld you ever heard. <laughs> then we met King Arthur. He knighted us. And then we killed the dragon. I like the design of this slideshow. It's kind of cool. Like the first one was nice and all in color and stuff. Then we fought the, the snake again. This time in its bone form. But I, li I like the layout of the book. And I like the, the aesthetic. It's cool. And then we fought Mewtwo. Me Mecha Mewtwo. Mecha, Mecha Mewtwo Zoda with his tail. And then we met Hirokan and saved him. What a game. And Micah said, I'll be thinking about you backwards. Gosh, I bet Star Tropics 3 would have taken place on Ergonia too. How cool would that have been? What a wild adventure. If I hadn't lived it, I wouldn't believe it. I'm serious. <laughs> the end. Yay! We can wipe that one off the list, huh? Woohoo! Yes, what a game indeed. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. <laughs> What a, f what a fun one. All right. Okay. Well, thanks to Timmy, we are up to 13 sub points. So we get two sub, two more sub points. Uh, and we'll, uh, so we'll, um, I, I tend to add the, uh, the last one there, Melissa. So it'll probably be that, that Mecha Mewtwo <laughs> Zoda, the one with the tail. <laughs> Mecha Mewtwo's tail, yeah. Just the tail. <laughs> um, it partly depends on what sprites I can find, like online. I can kind of get sprites too um, if I like emulate the game and run it on my computer, but then I would have to basically beat the whole game again or find a save file online somewhere, which actually probably I can um, and load it up. That way I can get right to the boss. But a game as popular as Star Tropics 2, I'm sure the sprites won't be terribly hard to find. Most of the sprites that I have here in my little slideshow, I just found online and then maybe tweaked a little bit to like delete junk out of them or whatever. Um, and uh, I'm thinking about resizing some of them because they're stretched to be on the stream right now, which I guess isn't a problem, but some of them are so much smaller than others. Like look how tiny Ganon is here. He's just this little dinky guy because I kept the pixel count the same. But so compared to like the Dragon Lord or like Bowser here, he's just dinky dinky. So I may stretch some of the smaller ones. I don't know. Uh, Zoda here was a pretty big sprite, so he'll be he'll be just fine size. Or look, yeah, look at Big Boss here. Big Boss here from Metal Gear is inky dinky little thing. All right, that's all the time we have for tonight. Ooh, look at this. See, we got some Star Tropics runners here. We'll uh, we'll go jump on another Star Tropics runner. These are like real speed runners uh, here. So uh, just give them some Psyducks. Give them some Doki Doki. And, uh, you know, we'll uh, see you again. Hopefully on Sunday, we'll, we'll be playing and beating Mega Man 2. Tail, small boss. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. Love having you. Uh, yeah, so this little slideshow that's happening here, Timmy, uh, is... Uh, oh, thank you so much, Vetch. Perfect. You got the sprites right there. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and good evening, Vetch. That's great. Uh so this little slideshow that's happening here, Timmy, this is actually a Rory's idea. She told me I should put all the bosses from the games I beat into like a little slideshow, and it plays. Um, normally, it's kind of in the corner of the chat. It's not this big. Here, I'll show you real quick. Like when I'm console streaming, see, it's down there. In the, uh, well, I'm, I'm trying to show you with my cursor. Like you can see my cursor, but you can't. But you can see it's right there normally. So, But when I sign off, it gets big. Anyway, good night. Thanks for coming. I hope to see you all on Sunday. Uh, and have a good weekend, everybody. Bye. Oh, wait, no. Well, in 10 seconds, bye. I, I forgot to hit raid. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I was about to just hit end. I forgot we were doing a raid. All right, now for real. Bye. <laughs>